This video is about chemical messengers. What are chemical messengers? Chemical messengers are chemical substances that are used for the communication between cells. For example, the humans communicate with each other through conversation. The message sent by the person to the other person is known as sender. So the sender if wants to do specific task will send the message to the other person and the message received by the other person will be the receiver. So the receiver will do the specific task according to the message received by the receiver. So the receiver will give the feedback according to the message and will perform the specific task. Similarly, the human body is made up of trillion of cells. So these cells communicate with each other to perform various functions and to do specific activities and to perform various activities in the body. So human body, these cells, a number of cells are present and they communicate with each other. So how the cells communicate with each other? The cells communicate with each other by the release of a specific chemical substances. So these chemical substances are also known as chemical messengers. So in the human body, there are a number of cells and these cells communicate with each other through a specific mechanism. Known as chemical messengers. So the cell uh, that sends the message or that releases the chemical substances to convey the message to the other cell to perform its specific functions or specific activities then the message sent by the cell is known as the signaling cell. So the cell that will send the message or the signal, so that cell will be the, known as the controlling cell or known as the signaling cell. So the message or the chemical substances received by the other cell is no, known as the target cell. So always the chemical messengers, they're released by the signaling cell or the controlling cell and will act on the target cell where the specific function has to be performed. So that's how in the human body, the cells communicate with each other and perform their specific tasks. So chemical messengers are of different types. They are classified into different types, depends on the distance of the cells from each other. In the human body, different types of cells are present and these cells communicate with each other by a different means of communication. So it depends on all these cells communicate with each other by the release of the chemical messengers or the chemical substances. But it depends upon the location of the cells or the distance of the cells. So on the basis of the distance between the cells, chemical messengers are classified into different types. These are the endocrine messengers, paracrine messengers, autocrine messengers, and neurocrine messengers. First of all, let's see each one by one endocrine messengers. In the endocrine messengers, the distance between the signaling cell and the target cell is a much more. As from the signaling cell, the distant cells are much more far away. So how these chemical messengers will travel to the, from the controlling or from the signaling cell to the target cell. So the medium for the transport is the bloodstream. In the endocrine messengers is more specifically endocrine messengers are released by the endocrine glands. So in this case, the chemical messengers or the endocrine messengers are mostly the hormones as the hormones are released by the endocrine glands. So this is the target gland and this is the controlling, uh, this is the controlling gland and the signaling gland from where the hormones are released. These are released into the bloodstream and from the blood, they are carried to the target cells. They are carried to the distance place to the target cells where they will perform their specific functions. So the examples of the endocrine uh, messengers are the hormones. So that this is the cells, the cells of the signaling cell and the target cell are far away from each other. So how these messengers will uh, reach to the target cell that's from the endocrine gland, most specifically the endocrine messengers are in the form of the hormones. This will be, it will be released from their signaling cell or the controlling cell, and these will be released into the bloodstream. 
and they will travel through the bloodstream far away to their target cell. And the target cell, they will perform their specific functions. So the examples of the endocrine messengers are the growth hormone and insulin hormone. There are also other hormones, but here I will discuss about the two hormones, growth hormone and insulin hormone. So growth hormone, let's suppose as the example of the endocrine messengers, as I told you that in endocrine messengers, the distance between the target cell and the signaling cell is much more, is far away. So the messengers will reach from their signaling. So this is the controlling, this pituitary gland as these growth hormone are released from the anterior pituitary. So anterior pituitary gland, this is the signaling cell or the signaling target or the these are the controlling cells. From here, the growth hormone will be released into the bloodstream and from the bloodstream, they will be carried to the target cells. As the growth hormone function is, growth hormone are involved in the overall growth of a body and also growth hormone are also involved in different metabolic reactions or in the different metabolic processes. So growth hormone targets will be the muscles, bones and liver. So from the target cells located far away from their signaling or controlling cells, they will be carried to the bloodstream, released into the bloodstream, travel through blood and will reach to their target cells and the target cells are the target organs for the growth hormone are the muscles, bone and liver. So growth hormone functions that they are involved in the overall growth and also involved in the metabolic processes. The other example of the endocrine messengers are the insulin hormone. Insulin hormone also functions or helps in the uptake of glucose. That insulin released by the pancreas as the pancreas acts as a controlling organ and the signaling organ from where the insulin will be released into the bloodstream, carried by the bloodstream to their target cells and tissues, where the insulin helps in the uptake of the glucose by the cell. So that's how the glucose, then the glucose in the cell will be utilized by the metabolic processes. And that's how insulin is involved in the regulation of the blood glucose level. So that's how the endocrine messengers in which the uh, target cells and the controlling cell are far away from each other and the messengers or the chemical messengers in the form of hormones travel through the bloodstream from the controlling cell to the target cell. The other messengers are the paracrine messengers. So in paracrine messengers, the cells, the signaling cell and the target cell are located near to each other, like not far away they're located near to each other. So the messengers or the chemical substances are released from the signaling cell. They are diffused or they are released into the interstitial fluid, into the space, into the extracellular space. As the space outside the cell or is known as extracellular space or the interstitial fluid. So the messenger will be released from the signaling cell into the interstitial fluid or into the interstitial space and will be taken up by the target cells. So we'll reach to a target cell where it will perform their specific functions. So the other paracrine messengers in which the distance will be small and there are some cells in which there will be very much minute distance between the cells. So that type of paracrine messenger will be known as yuxtacrine messenger. So yuxtacrine messenger in which the cells are present very adjacent to each other and there is very much small gap present between these cells. So in this type of cells, the signaling cells and the target cells are present very adjacent to each other. Then the chemical substances or the messengers will diffuse through the gap junctions. So that's how through gap junctions, they will be diffused out, reach out to the target cells and where they will perform their specific functions. The examples of the paracrine messengers, the examples of the paracrine messengers include the prostaglandins and histamine. So prostaglandins, that is a hormone that also act or also functions like a paracrine messengers. So prostaglandins is a hormone that is more specifically their function is involved in the uterine contraction. The other example is the histamine. So histamine are also the chemical substances 
that are released by the different types of white blood cells. And these histamine are also released in the, most specifically in some allergic reactions. Then they are released from different types of white blood cells during allergic reactions and released. And their most specific function of the histamine is that they causes the vasodilation of the blood vessels. So the function is the, that, that they will be released into the blood circulation and they causes the vasodilation of the blood vessels. The other type of signaling or other type of messengers are the autocrine messengers. As the name indicates, auto. So in this type of cell, the signaling cell and the target cell is the same cell. That from the same cell, the chemical substances or messengers that are released from the cell will act on the same cell. So the signaling cell and the target cell is the same cell. So this type of signaling from which the chemical messengers or chemical substances released from the cell and act on that cell, then that type of signaling is known as autocrine signaling. Example of the autocrine messenger includes the leukotrienes. So leukotrienes are released from the different white blood cells as example is the neutrophil. So leukotriene are also released from the uh, same cell and will act on the same cell. So the leukotrienes, as these are released by different types of white blood cells and they're involved in the production and proliferation of white blood cells. So they are involved in the immune reactions or they're involved in the uh, defense reactions and in the immunity of the human body. The other type of crine or neural messengers as the neurocrine and neural messengers, nervous tissues are involved. So as the nerve cells uh, are involved, so the, the space between, as the nerve cells are arranged like uh, uh, the space between the two nerve cells as shown here, this space or the gap between uh, these two neurons are known as the uh, synapse or the synaptic cleft. So the space, uh, the cells that is present before this gap is known as presynaptic cell. And the cell that is present after the synaptic cleft or the gap is known as the post-synaptic cell. So the chemical messengers are released by the nerve cell or by the exon terminal of the first nerve cell, released into the gap or the junction, and then received by the adjacent nerve cell. And the receptors are present on the adjacent nerve cells and then these neurotransmitters. So these chemical substances or the messenger that are released by the neuron are known as neurotransmitters and will be released by the one nerve cell and will be taken up by the other nerve cell. So as these um, the gap is present is known as the synaptic cleft. So this, uh, the cell before this, uh, this neurotransmitter released, the neurotransmitter are released by the cells known as presynaptic cell and taken up by the cell known as the post-synaptic cell because the gap between these two is known as synaptic cleft. So this is how the neurocrine messengers are transmitted from one nerve cell to the other nerve cell. So this is the controlling or signaling cell and the other cell, the postsynaptic cell is the target cell. The other, so there are some neurons or nerve cells that also release the hormones. So these messengers will be known as neurocrine messengers or neurohormone because these neurons will also, as as shown here previously, we have seen that they have released the neurotransmitters. So there are chemical substances and in some cases, the hormones are also released. So these are known as neurohormones. So hormones are released from the exon terminal and will be re released into the blood stream and to the blood, they will be taken to their targeted cells or tissues where they will perform their specific functions. So examples of the neurocrine or neural messengers include acetylcholine and dopamine. So acetylcholine, as the neurocrine or neural messengers, they can communicate or uh, between the nerve cells, like from nerve cells to nerve cells, and also from the, uh, as in the form of neurohormone, as in from the neuron terminal, the hormones will be released into the bloodstream. In some cases, the neurons as the nerve supply is provided to whole body and to the muscles and to the tissues and to the cells. So these neurons uh, will 
transport the or transfer the chemical substances to the muscle so on the muscles the receptors are the present so chemical substances will be released from the axon terminal or from the nerve cell and will be carried by to the muscles where it will perform their specific functions as in this case the signaling and controlling cell are the nerve cells and the target cell is the muscles other example is the dopamine dopamine is, are the neurotransmitters that are also released by the one nerve cell into a synaptic clock and taken up by the other nerve cell so the overall summary of the chemical messengers we have studied about four different types of chemical messengers that how cells communicate with each other with the help of the chemical substances known as chemical messengers so there are four types of chemical messengers endocrine messengers in which the signaling cell is located far away from the target cell so the chemical messenger released from the controlling or signaling cell will travel to the blood stream and will reach to the target cell where they will perform their specific functions the other messengers are the paracrine messengers in which the cells are located adjacent to each other and the other was the autocrine messengers in which the chemical substances are released from the cell and will act on the same cell the other neurocrine messengers in which the nerve cells are involved in which the chemical substances are released from the axon terminal and that cell will be known as presynaptic cell and will be released into the synaptic cleft and taken up by the other cell that other target organ may be the for the neuron messengers that target organ may be the um, other nerve cells may be the muscles and maybe some other target cells